It's uh, no secret about Curtis, his uh, talent, his name speaks for itself across the nation. But um, this team is loaded with electricity on the offensive side and defensive side of the ball. We got guys like Khalil Lewin. I mean, Khalil to me, bar none, is the best running back in New York City, in my opinion. You know, I'm not saying just because I'm his coach. And I didn't say that about him in the past. Uh, Khalil Lewin arrives for number three. Power, power running back. One man can't tackle me. It's a fact. Going back to his sophomore year. We piggybacked him getting us past the semifinals with his legendary overtime run. Morgan on the handoff to Lewin. Lewin bounces it to the right side to the 15. Breaks a tackle, breaks it over, puts a hand down. He thinks he's Rocky to the five. Touchdown, Dutchman! And the E Hall Dutchman advance to the PSAL City Championship game. Khalil Lewin, the sophomore stud, scoring from 15 yards out. The big run he had in a, against Lincoln in Yankee Stadium that was a top 10 play on ESPN. He hold ball from their own 46 yard line. Morgan in the shotgun. Lewin in motion. He gets the handoff. He rolls to the left side and he breaks a tackle. Look at he's down and oh, he gets up again. Look at that. He breaks away from two guys. Takes it down to the left sideline. He transfers from the right to the left. Five and he's brought down by Darnell Phillips at the one yard line. Khalil Lewin, the sophomore stud, makes like the matrix escaping the tackle. I was on Facebook and everybody was like, I'm on ESPN. So I checked it out. I want ESPN, I see myself. And I feel like I was the deal, so I named myself the deal. Myself and Khalil have a special relationship. Uh, I've been coaching Khalil since he's about nine years old. He's tough. He's a three to nine guy. A three yard run, he's going to turn it to nine. You get a nine yard run, he's going to turn it to 18. I think on countless times this season and past seasons, you've seen him make about seven guys miss on one play. The strength of my legs and my upper body, my arm, the stiff arm. God's gift. What we're getting out of him this year is just a byproduct of the work that he puts in between Monday and Friday. The recruiting is going really good. I got Stony Brook, Wagner, Yukon, Fordham, Temple, a couple other schools, but just a SAT, that's all. The SAT, you know, he's still working on some things that he's got to take care of. Um, at the end of the day, we're not going to let our baby boy fall. And at the end of the day, we're going to make sure no matter what happens that he'll be in good hands and he's in the right place. Just got Buster's SAT and then D1 football I'll come. I think that whoever gets him is going to get a jewel of a football player. I think a lot of people will say he reminds him of Ray Rice. Same size, same body type at his age. Um, he's got some growth to do uh, still. But I think that his future down the line, you'll be talking about him in about a good three, four years from now as well.